Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest. I never thought he would sit through a YouTube video with me, but do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Alex, the hubby of Sarah. <laughs> Yes. If you're new to this channel, we've been married for over seven years. We have a beautiful daughter, Charlotte, and we recently moved across Canada to sunny Calgary. It was quite a big move, but it's been really fun documenting it on YouTube. I also have a small business, which is how this channel started. I make and sell greeting cards. A lot of it is faith-based. We are Christian. We love Jesus. And yeah, I love sharing about motherhood and the ups and downs of having my own business. Yeah, lately we've also been transitioning to Calgary, so it's a lot going on. I am also currently pregnant. Obviously, you guys know Alex because he's in all my vlogs and I live with him. But today we thought it'd be a good idea to film this together because it is our gender, gender reveal, reveal video. video. <laughs> yeah, it's been about two weeks since we found out gender of this baby. Yeah, we've been so excited since we found out the it just seems so much more real like we've been thinking about names. Totally. And we do have a name picked. We're just not going to share it yet, right? Is the name picked? It is picked. I mean, it's it's picked in my mind. It's picked. Alex likes the name more than I do, but it feels right. But anyway, I think any parent would agree that when it comes to finding out the gender of your baby, it is one of the most exciting parts of the pregnancy because it makes everything feel so real. But at the end of the day, what matters the most is that it's a healthy, healthy baby, boy or girl. Like that's all we wanted. And I think regardless of the outcome, we would have been ecstatic either way. It just would have changed how we envision our future i guess let's get right into it here is footage from two weeks ago on that fateful friday morning morning today is the day of our anatomy scan it's a very bright and early friday morning alex is joining me today which is kind of special it's pretty rare for both of us to be at one of my ob appointments but today's a big one we find out the gender today girl or boy we're gonna be so grateful for just like a healthy baby we also do have our predictions thought of maybe a baby girl baby girl i i think it's a girl too obviously so cute for charlotte to have a little sister just like my little sister but this pregnancy also feels so similar to charlotte's like i had really bad morning sickness i'm really tired it feels reminiscent i have been pregnant with a boy before lucas this was four years ago and that pregnancy was actually a lot easier but i am realizing i was like five years younger at that point i was in my 20s and so pregnancy might just get harder because i'm getting older i don't know but we're so excited <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> Charlotte, you're getting Oh my gosh. So what you just saw was the moment we found out if we were having a boy or girl. Honestly, I gotta say this anatomy scan or just scan in general was the best experience we've ever had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really good. The amenities looked nice. The the technician was great. There was a like a TV. We could see where she was scanning. Didn't have to like look at her screen, but we could look at the TV. Maybe that's different from Ontario. Cause in Ontario, I know the technician, at least in my personal experience, the technician isn't allowed to really share information about the baby. Like they can share that there's a heartbeat, but mm -hmm. they can't really disclose like the gender so it would take a little bit longer because they have to communicate that information to the doctor and then the doctor has to be the one to disclose it to the patient yeah this one the monitor was huge and it was mounted on the wall we were just watching like a live show and our technician was narrating it the whole time the bed was comfy too right yeah it was a very comfy bed and it just felt so clean and nice this is a picture of the baby that they gave us that day. The center was called EFW Radiology. They have a lot of locations. I heard that they see 95% of the patients in Calgary, the pregnant patients in Calgary. So they work very closely with the Alberta Health Network. I think that's why it was so good mm -hmm. because it was really standardized. And then they also gave us a little USB <laughs> stick with all the photos. So anyway, after the ultrasound, we were sitting in the car debating like how we wanted to tell our parents and my sister because she was living with us and she was like waiting eagerly back at home for us to share the news with her. I think we just wanted to keep it low key. We went through a lot of ideas. Yeah. We were like, should we do a, 
a balloon popping? Should we do like a golf ball? Because it's fun. It's just <laughs> fun memories. It all felt a little too extra. This was actually the third time we were like revealing the gender to our family and friends. With Lucas, we did a balloon. And then with Charlotte, we did a balloon. We, did. we wanted to keep it low key, especially because we're like distance from both of our parents anyway. But still um, wanted to do something. <laughs> we still wanted, we still to, wanted, wanted do to do something, something for Suji. I ended up making cupcakes, just like a quick little batch. For our parents, I wanted to buy like a white t-shirt or a onesie. We ended up thrifting it that day. So after our appointment, we drove to Once Upon a Child and I found like a very simple onesie. Didn't even wash it. I just wrote <laughs> Anni or Nuna on it. Like in Korean, a younger brother would call his older sister Nuna. Younger sister would call her older sister Anni. So if Charlotte is a Nuna, that means the second is a boy. If she's Anni, second is a girl. The idea was for me to just like get a fabric marker and write something on it and take a nice photo at home that afternoon i was very busy i didn't do any work that day i just <laughs> making cupcakes and onesies so this clinic was amazing like i don't want to do like a crazy gender reveal but i kind of do i'm gonna see if i can pick up like a white shirt so i can write like onni or nuna on it and then we can take a picture of charlotte wearing the shirt and send it to our parents i think that's mm -hmm. the idea so far i also want to find a cupcake because uh i just want to eat a cupcake <laughs> We're back. I ended up buying Betty Crocker classic cupcake mix and some food coloring. Alex and I were thinking like it'd be kind of fun to buy cupcakes and inject like icing for Suji. I kind of crave boxed cake. This stuff's probably not great for you. It reminds me of elementary school. Look at me making a big deal out of something that I said I wouldn't make a big deal of. Oh my gosh, I forgot how quickly this boxed cake comes together honestly this is pure nostalgia my mom she's a really great cook and she actually bakes a lot but when we were younger and when she had three young kids like she didn't bake as much and she would make like rice krispies for bake sales and then we'd make these boxed cupcakes together they're such great childhood memories perfect fit. i basically am like carving out a circle in the middle i just feel like such a little chemist Okay, we are gathered here today to reveal the gender of this baby. What do you think it is? A boy. Just a feeling. Just a feeling. Suji Yay! thinks it is a boy. A lot of people think it's a boy. Okay, I'm right, right. gonna show her some pictures of the baby from our ultrasound. So that's the hand. It's a boy's hand. <laughs> it's a boy's hand. Um, that's the leg. Oh, that's so crazy. I you know. see both bones. Um, is that a boy? <laughs> no, no, no. These are the two feet. This is between the legs. Oh, okay, I okay, think okay. I think this is between yeah, the legs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Actually, can't tell. Yeah. Okay. 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 Is it a girl? You think it's a girl? That's your guess? No, my guess is a boy. Your guess is a boy? Okay. I'm <laughs> 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 Boy? Okay. okay you Most people guessed boy, right? I think everyone did. Except your brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. We My don't brother. have footage yeah. of Andrew, but he was the only one out of our family that guessed girl. Then you and I guessed girl. Honestly, I don't know where people are getting these guesses from. I mean, even my aunt, she looked at my stomach and thought it would be a boy, just like the shape of it. And everyone has all these like theories. Yeah. I know my parents really wanted a girl just because my mom and her sister, my aunt, are very, very close. And me and Suji are very close. And it's actually the exact same age gap. We're all two years apart. But I know your parents. Yeah, I think my parents thought it would be a boy. I they, guess no, they're they, just going... All they wanted a boy. They wanted a boy, but they also thought because Lucas was a boy and then Charlotte's a girl, so then so they thought maybe it would be another boy. Do you want to find out what the gender is? Should we reveal it to Shall them? Shall we? Okay, let's continue on. I baked us three little cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Middle, the inside has a color you, in it. Oh, you did it through there? Yeah, I did it through the top. So I feel like we have to take a big bite. Yeah, you have to take a half. Oh, but it might crack. Don't like look, mine's cracking. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Are we all gonna take a bite? I'm three, okay. A big bite? Okay, <laughs> but you guys know. I don't know why we're taking a bite. <laughs> I mean, no, but I just want to take a bite of this cupcake. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! It's a girl! Oh my god! Oh! It's me! It's you! <laughs> it's me! 
I'm sorry, Daniel. There's oh, no way. Are you happy? I'm gonna be a big girl. You're gonna be a big girl. <laughs> You're gonna be a big girl. Having a girl. <laughs> Some of our friends actually guessed girl too. The FaceTimes we have with our friends are so much more special and we were able to share with them. Yeah, we're so excited. I'm excited because I see Sarah and Suji, they're so close and... There's something about sisters. So we don't have to buy any new clothes. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm excited to hold another little girl in my arms and to really see the difference between Charlotte's personality mm -hmm. and this one's. Because they're both girls, I feel like we'll be able to compare a little better. I don't know. Yeah, baby yeah. girl, we're so excited to meet you. We were both like kind of tearing up at the ultrasound when we found out. I was also preparing my heart for having a boy because I thought it would be a very different emotional experience. I mean, if you followed my channel long enough, we talk about Lucas all the time. He was our first baby that we lost through the pregnancy we like really envisioned our lives with like our firstborn son i really felt like with charlotte it was almost like god's grace in giving us a girl because the experience just felt so different and i don't think i was ready to have another boy after losing a boy it's like four years later and i think even now holding a boy in my arms like it feels very different feels like almost God is like protecting my heart. If we ever do have a boy in the future, I know that it'll be like the perfect timing. Yeah, baby girl, you're so loved already. We're so excited for you. You have no idea. I can't believe you're gonna be here in a few months. But yeah, you'll be born in Calgary and it'll be just like the best start to our life here, our chapter here. So mm -hmm. thank you for bringing so much joy into our lives already. Oh, I don't know why I'm crying. I think I miss home. <laughs> I just, it just, it is kind of scary thinking about having a baby in a new place, but God's been so good already. You're going to be our precious little daughter. We're so excited to meet you. We're so excited. Thank you guys for joining us. We love you. Bye. Bye. What do you think? <laughs> having a girl. Charlotte, you're getting a sister. Yeah. <laughs>